Hey, Vinyl Community, Mark here again from Sound Matters, talking all things vinyl as always. Now, today's topic is, can you really fix a scratched record using a humble household toothpick? That's the topic of today's video, and the answer might surprise you. So let's get straight into it. So while I don't make a habit, naturally, of buying records that are scratched to the point where they skip, occasionally, from time to time, either accidents happen or you just happen to come across a record that unfortunately has a scratch on it that is significant enough to cause the stylus to jump out of the groove during playback. It's annoying. It happens, it's the nature of the beast, I guess we could say. Now, this method that I'm going to talk about with the toothpick, I have actually used this method before to fix one of my records. I was gifted a copy of Heavy Horses by Jethro Tull that very sadly was pretty much a perfect record, albeit this tiny little scratch in one part of the record that turned out to be significant enough to cause the record to skip. But what causes a record to skip from a scratch? Because sometimes you get a scratch and it is almost insignificant, the stars passes through no problem, maybe you get a little bit of extra surface noise, but otherwise it's all gravy. And then other times you'll get a scratch and it just seems to be so much more significant and the stars is jumping out of the groove, either causing a loop or all kinds of havoc can be unleashed on your record playing experience. Now, the thing that causes a record to, to skip, of course, is the blocking of the path of the stylus as it tries to travel freely through the groove. So if you gouge the vinyl and it happens to knock some of the uh, vinyl wall into the pathway of the stylus and that becomes significant, a blockage to make the stylus jump from the record groove, then this is what potentially causes record skipping. So basically, when we say we're going to try and fix a record using a toothpick, all we're trying to achieve here is a clear pathway for the stylus. So it's important to basically stress that when we say fix, it isn't possible to completely remove all of the audible issues that come with scratches. But what might be possible, if we're lucky, is to use a toothpick to clear the way. So that's all we're talking about here and that's all I managed to achieve with this copy of Heavy Horses. It still makes a little bit of noise as the stylus goes past this point but it doesn't skip out of the groove anymore. But what do we need to perform this operation? Well of course naturally we're going to need one of those toothpicks that we've so famously been talking about already. I'm sure you've got these lying around the house and if not you can easily pick them up from your local grocery store of course. Naturally everybody can get hold of one of these but you'll also need some other devices to help you with the magnification process. So there are two options here. You could get yourself a nice little jeweler's loop like this. These are nice little magnifying glasses essentially designed for getting very close to the detail in jewellery. They make a very good, very low profile discrete small device you can hold up to your record and get a better idea of what's happening with that scratch before we start using the toothpick to perform the operation but if you want a little bit more magnifying power of course you could go a little bit further and invest yourself into a usb microscope such as one of these here i'll put links in the description below where you can get the versions that i own of both the usb microscope or a simple jeweler's loop that you can get easily on amazon i'll put those links in the description below and check them out for yourself. But let's get into some actual footage that I've taken now using the USB microscope of a toothpick being used to essentially improve upon the situation of a scratch record. So here's some USB microscope footage of me applying this toothpick method. As you can see, the aim of the game is to gently rub the toothpick over the damaged area in an attempt to move any debris that could cause skipping. There are a couple of caveats though. So with any process where we touch the record surface, there is always risk of further damage. But then again, if your record is skipping, you might think, well, what have I got to lose anyway? Naturally, anything you do like this is at your own risk, but it did work for me with my Jethro Tull album. Also, a more powerful microscope would naturally enable you to get more granular in this process 
and perhaps even try, at your own risk of course, a sharper, more precise implement. This particular record doesn't skip per se, so my audio improvement on this record was very minor. The pops and clicks reduced in volume a little, but considering the risk, I would recommend you reserve this process for records that do skip. But in summary, this is just a tool in your arsenal, something that you can try to get some of those records that perhaps you've written off at least playable once again. So that concludes today's video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least interesting. Let us know down in the comments below if you've tried this for yourself, any circumstances where perhaps it's saved or salvaged a record to an at least a playable standard for you, or maybe even some circumstances where you tried it and it, and it just didn't work. Let us know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your experience of this. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. We'd love to see you at that next video. Until then, keep spinning.